Hello viewers and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It's Friday. Oh, that's perfect. It's Friday. Uh, the day of the traveling cart. We have a few things to do here, left and right. Uh, are these ready? I don't think they are. They don't look like they are. No, they're not. And the beats aren't ready. And the other beats aren't quite ready. And what else did we have? We had some yams. We don't have yams anymore, right? Because we don't need them. No siree. And these are ready. And the honey is ready. And the greenhouse is available. Oh my gosh, viewers, so many things. Uh, <laughs> I told you that I have a mod that lets you check the internal stats of an item. And I, I had gotten that originally because I thought that'd be really interesting to look at. We could do some real Stardew science with that, possibly, if if it came up. Um, and so I, I looked up how to do that. And by default, it's F1. I don't know if you can change it. But with my mouse over that, I press F1. Apple tree, fruit tree, next fruit, tomorrow. And here's the quality. Currently, it's normal. Uh, next year, in 96 days, it'll be silver quality, iridium quality on, on summer, uh, in year five, season, fall, or any time in the greenhouse. Okay, that's interesting. So we could plant a tree in the greenhouse, although it still does take a full few months. Uh, now, pomegranate. This is what we wanted, right? <laughs> so I came over here, and I did the F1. It's a cherry tree. It's out of season. <laughs> uh, spring. This won't have cherries till spring, but it doesn't matter, because we don't need cherries. We don't need cherries. So there was a time when I was planting things, and I think I planted them at the right time, uh, this tree has been this size for a while, and if we look at it, it says complaints. Can't grow because there's adjacent objects. The season would have been in fall. Now, I don't think there's enough days left in fall. This will be mature on winter 5 in 21 days, and that's probably assuming that it can grow. We probably stunted its growth. Uh, if we go like... Let's see, what do I want? I want the pickaxe. If we go like that and that, now there's nothing right there. Uh, now it's not complaining. So I didn't think that those things would stop growth. That's actually quite interesting. Oh, and there there I am. <laughs> the spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Ah, that's funny. I actually meant to click back on the tree. Yeah, so mature on winter five. Now we could plant a brand new one in the greenhouse. I don't think it would grow in time. Um, although, yeah, I don't know. We can try that, but I have something else to try as well. And that is the traveling cart. Now the traveling cart has a very, very slight chance of having what we need. It's like a 1% something or other. I, I don't know. So I figured we'd check something. Let's check the traveling cart today. And then let's check it again on Sunday. And see. Oh my gosh. Rapid's foot. <laughs> that would have saved me some time. Bass. Goat milk. Iron ore. Tulip fall seeds. Dining chair. Yeah. Not what I want. Now, what I want to know, what I want to know is if today never happened. Let's say Groundhog Day. Let's say we could freeze frame and rewind time. This feels familiar. Let's say we could rewind time. Let's say we could go back to the beginning of the day, hypothetically. And let's say we were go down here to check the traveling cart, you know, for kicks and giggles. 
Um, what would we find? Would we find the same items? Would there be a battery? Jam? Uh, what was the other item? Rabbit's foot? Okay. So we're not going to be able to cheat the system now. I mean, um, if time travel were a real thing, and I had truly mastered it, as uh, some of my viewers seem to think I have, uh, that wouldn't be the solution. Ah. <sighs> Well, I can show you what I did over here. I surrounded all these trees with this cool stone, except then the question becomes, can these grow? Grow stage, small tree, four or five, 20% to chance to grow into tree tomorrow. Okay, so it doesn't stop these ones. Or maybe it's the stone that doesn't stop them. I mean, we could really get into the science of it if we wanted to. We could start doing some experiments. Eh, I don't want to. You know what? We're nearing the end of year two. We've almost accomplished all of our achievements. There's a few quests that I really want to try out. Uh, but we can't do them yet because they're not available. They're not going to be available until, until we complete the community center. There is one quest we can take forward. I think we have time to do it. Let's see, where did I put the beets? There we go. And where did these need to go? Inside Mayor Lewis's fridge. Now, are we even friendly enough with Mayor Lewis to do such a thing? Because that might be something we have to work up. Uh, let's check our relationship. Social. And they are an order of hearts, so the fact that he's not up here with two. Huh. Let's see, what does he like? Hot pepper? I'm not going to necessarily have something he likes. Is his birthday this month? On the off chance that his birthday is this month, I can do a little sneak peek at what he'd like. Okay, no. All right, so I might have to ask around town. Wink. The wiki. <laughs> I ain't even hiding it uh, to figure out what exactly we should be giving him. So I guess I don't even need these. Let's, if we run into him, we'll give him that. That's a that's a pretty cool item. Very valuable. Uh, we'll see if he likes it. That is if we happen to run into him. I want to check one more thing. Maybe all hope is not lost. It's locked. Okay, I'll wait. Actually, while we're waiting, it does say that the mayor is home. Hey, mayor. I don't need to be his friend to do this quest. Well, I'll give that to you anyway. Thanks, this is great. Because, you know, I feel bad that I was going to give you something. And then I was going to change my mind. And there's ten beats. Quickly place the beets in the fridge. Wait a sec, there's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. Good job, kid. Your final task, give the sand dragon his last meal. Mr. Q, sand dragon last meal. Okay, I'm going to have to do some research in the library to figure out what that is. In the meantime, we want to go into Pierre's. We also want to go... Ooh, it's nine. We can go in there. We also want to go up to Robin's to get the furniture catalog. All right, let's see. I would like a tree. Going slow because I don't want to pass it. Cherry, apricot, peach, pomegranate. There we go. One passion fruit tree. Prashen, prashen flute. F f uh, Never mind. I'm sorry. When I mess up on my words like that, I give myself a momentary pause of silence. <gasps> What's... Oh, that's right. We got this to check out. I forgot about that. I'll finish my thought after, or I'll forget. Hi, Brandis. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. I, I don't know either, unless it's a good thing. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. 
can we go panning now? Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? I sure do. Yes, it's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out from of the mountain. And you know what this means, right? Yeah, I can go panning. It means we can start panning. That's what I just said, Willie. Are you listening? Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? I'd love to. Thank you. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. Yes, sir. You received a copper pan. Hey, now by the fact that it's copper, does that mean I can upgrade it? Now, why am I way over here? Because I wanted to try the... I wanted to try the panning. All right. Hey, uh, I'd like to buy something, please. A modern lamp. You know what? I'm going to have... I'm going to have a bunch of those for free. What? Did this go up in price? Or was it always 200000 I mean... Okay. <laughs> I want it. I want it so bad. And there's nothing else I really need to spend my money on right now. I got my passion fruit tree. Oh yeah, so I was saying, I, I do the momentary silence, and for all you, you see you just this jump cut, right? I like the jump cuts. But <laughs> I have a momentary pause uh, so that I can find it more easy uh, when I'm recording. When I'm editing more easily while I'm recording. Why can't I speak properly? You know, the fact that I don't speak properly, I actually, I kind of enjoy it. It adds a uniqueness to my vocabulary, I believe. I don't know. For some of you, it might be annoying. For some of you, it might be why you don't subscribe. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, golly. Who knows? Where am I going? I want to plant this in the greenhouse. Very good. And then I want to search information on it. Can I not? Can I not? There we go. This will mature on winter 12. 28 days. Does that mean... Does that mean it can have fruit then? I don't know. We have to remember every Friday and Sunday to check the traveling cart. I have to remember. You don't have to remember anything. <laughs> That's the beauty of a Let's Play. I have to remember it, not you. Um, that makes these trees useless. This is going to be ready in the winter, but it's not going to matter. Mature on winter. Can't grow because there's a chasing object. Oh, that's right. I did that in a different life back before I groundhog dayed to the beginning of the day. Um, yeah, let's not talk about that. So I need to figure out what that meal quest is. Give the sand dragon his final meal. Who's the sand dragon? And what does he eat? Probably something in the desert. Hello, my lovely ladies. Look what I got. Oh boy, that looks out of place. Oh my gosh, we now have infinite furniture. Dark throne. Jeez. <laughs> Groovy chair. Stump seat. Metal chair. King chair. Wow. This, this is pretty dang awesome. That is totally worth $200,000. Small crystal. Now, uh, I'm gonna. I want to go through these off camera more on my own, but what I definitely want to do is get some lighting in here. And so let's just see how some of these work. We can get rid of the torches. And it's going to be pretty bright because it's still, it's still day. But let's see. Let's just place a few. What if I take that? 
<laughs> what if I take the window off? Can, do you turn these on? No, you just place them. All right, we'll put that back. That's, it's a lot nicer with the window. How about there? And this is an interesting lamp. Let's put it off to the side. This looks like an excellent bedroom lamp, but I'm going to need to rearrange stuff. We'll see how bright these make it uh, when it's darker. Ah, interesting. It says here that the sand dragon is a carving uh, of mysterious origin in the desert and that it is said to have originally eaten solar essence uh, when it was alive. When it was alive? That's really strange. Maybe, maybe a spell turned it into sand? Maybe it's not a sculpture? Maybe it's not a... Huh. Let's go, let's go look at it. I totally didn't look up information on the wiki and pretend like I looked it up in a book in the library. Why would I do that? That's silly. Well, we're not completely broke. We can still afford the ticket. That's good. <laughs> now, how are you supposed to know this on your own? I don't know. I don't even remember seeing a dragon. But I suppose it might be in here? No. Did I see a dragon before and I just don't remember because I'm a derp? Can't go that way. Is this the sand dragon? It's small gapes at the desert sun. Even in death, it yearns for a taste. Oh, that's a pretty good clue, actually. I think I might have been able to figure that out. You place the essence in the dragon's maw. Only then do you notice a note hidden in the eye socket. You've proven yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house. Oh my gosh, now I have to go back. I'm ready to go back. You ready to go back so soon? Yeah. Some lame. That's what lame people do. Okay, lumber pile next to my... Per Is that a passion fruit? It's not. It's a pomegranate. A wild pomegranate. It's not what we need. Um... Yes. The pile of lumber next to my house. Right there. I see it. Put those in there. Take those out. Put that in the fridge. Oh boy, guys. We're at that time. Wait. Wait a minute. How, How do I... How do I do? Did I put this here? Oh, I did. But there's no flowers in it because... Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Do you have flowers now? What if I leave and come back? No? Well. Poo. Alright, alright. Back on track. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go check this out. I got a GameCube controller. No. I got a club card. You're not sure what it's for. But it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. It's for the casino. Wink. Where's my wallet? I didn't know I had a wallet. Well, there it is. Yeah. What, what are all the other things? How, how come I'm missing so many things? How come there's so many spaces? I don't understand. Viewers, that is great. That's great. We did a great job. I'm going to call it here. Thank you all so much for watching. We need one more item. One more item to complete the community center. And I feel like there's only one chance to find it. I don't know that. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to worry about it yet. We will see. This is technically called year two. I will go into year three and get that fruit and complete the game. And we will still call it year two if I have to. I'm not making another season that's one episode. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. This has been B-Ren. I will see you next video. Have a great day.